guys welcome back to my channel it is 4 30 in the morning and i'm just quickly getting ready to go to the gym and train so excuse the look i've just chucked on stuart's jumper because it's so warm um over the top of like my very fluorescent pink gym gear i'm about to go train shoulders um i'm super up i'm up super early this morning because i'm training before my clients and their session starts at 5 45 oh there goes my alarm i could turn that off hold on two seconds Anyway, so I woke up at 3.30 this morning because yesterday I trained at 4 to train before my clients again. I'm trying to get back into the routine of training early in the morning. I have much better sessions. I don't mind getting up early. Like, yeah, it sucks like the first like 10 minutes while you're trying to like roll around and go back to sleep, but I never can. I wake up starving anyway. As soon as I wake up and go to the bathroom, I really am hungry. So my tummy gurgles. So there's no way I get back to sleep anyway. Um, so I train better in the morning. I feel more awake in the morning. Um, I can have my pre-workout in the morning. Everything for me is just better in the morning and it means I have my whole day and because the weather's getting so much better here on the Gold Coast, I'd rather be out in the sun than in the gym for an extra hour. Um, and then I'm rushing around, like getting all some things done like errands and work and eating before I have to be back at work in the afternoon. So for me, it works so much better. But if you don't need to be up early, you don't like being up early, you do you, boo. Like you train whenever. But I'm just quickly going to wash my face. Um, have a pre-workout and go to the gym and train some shoulders. I'll quickly film like little bits here and there for you guys. But this is just going to be like a daily vlog because um, it's what's been requested by you guys for my next video. work um i have had protein oats i didn't show you guys that because i feel like i've made that a million times for you and i just had it with my vanilla caramel protein tastes amazing <laughs> and i just went to the doctor because i got something wrong with my feet because of grass is greener like long story short waste my time waste my money not happy so to make myself feel better i'm gonna have lunch it is almost 11 o'clock I'm going to show you what I'm having for lunch because I know you guys love to see that sort of stuff. Um, I am back on sort of higher calories. We're slowly building back up. I'm not sitting on like 2,200 calories at the moment. For lunch, I'm going to have a Mexican bowl. So that is with beef mince, some basmati rice, spinach, tomato, a little bit of like tomato salsa, and a sprinkle of cheese. So I'll show you guys that. Um, and then after that, I'm going to go to the beach for a little bit. Um, relax tan because I'm just a bit annoyed about my situation. But I also want to chat to you guys about some stuff as well update you on my life and things like that especially now that stuart's gone i didn't really touch on that that much in my um ifpb and wbff vlogs i know lots of people have um asked me how i'm going and things like that so i thought i'd answer that on here so i don't have to answer you guys all individually because every time i do i'm like tear like stop reminding me <laughs> anyway so yeah i'll show you guys my lunch we'll have a chat and then i'll catch up with you later
so I just got back from the beach. It is two o'clock and I'm about to make a snack before going to work. I've just had a shower, put a hair mask on because my hair is so ratty. It's so gross <laughs> from the salt water and everything. Um, but I thought I'd just quickly like have a life update with you guys um, before I have to go back to work. So um, last time I spoke to you, um, was in my IFPB vlog and I mentioned how like I was missing Stuart and stuff. It has been seven weeks now since he's been gone. So living my best life. No, not really. Um, it's actually been not too bad when I was like really busy with comping and everything. But as soon as my comps finished, I sort of noticed it a lot more that he wasn't around. Like when I came home and stuff. Like long distance sucks, guys. So anyone out there who has done it, like good on you because oh my gosh, it's been so tough. Like having to find a whole new routine and things like I've definitely had to mature and do a lot more things by myself and you realize all the things that other people like he did for me or with me um but I've definitely found it really hard I've been really stressed and like really anxious and he was always that person that I sort of like went to when I felt like that um I was having the, I've been having like the worst sleep I haven't been able to sleep because I was so used to having someone there um, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but like when you hear a random noise in the middle of the night, it is so scary. And then you overthink it and think that there's someone in the apartment, but there isn't. And oh my gosh, like literally I was just couldn't sleep. And then that affected my training and my mood. And oh, it was just so frustrating. But um, I've gotten over it. Like I've moved, like I'm definitely um, finding it a lot easier now. Like one of the things that actually has been helping has been um, this blanket um it's really pretty as well like a nice beige matches my couch um and it's like a weighted blanket so i got this because i read about how it helps with stress and anxiety and sleep insomnia um it sort of feels like like someone sort of hugging you or next to you like i've read lots of these reviews um and everyone said it was sort of like having a hug and honestly it has been so life-changing for myself when i go to sleep like having it around me makes me feel like stuart's sort of there i know this is so like cringy but it's so true like not even gonna lie i got it from um from it's called a therapy blanket so you can go on like google and type in therapy blanket and it should pop up i also have a discount for you guys if you want to get one yourself um like there's heaps of research behind helping with sleep and anxiety and as well as sleep insomnia so if you suffer with any of those things and you want to try it they're also just super nice to sleep with they're really high quality and i got a beige one because it matches my like bed as well as my couch so that has definitely been helping me and I don't know what it is. It sort of feels like he's there with me. So when I hear noises and stuff like that, I don't get as nervous or anxious. Like I can sort of just relax and feel a lot more grounded. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. But a few of my friends have even tried it out when they've slept over and stuff and they said they really liked it as well. I've literally been having the best sleep ever since and I need my sleep. If not, I am a cranky, cranky girl. That and being hungry. So with that said, I'm gonna go get a snack and um, maybe fill you guys in a bit more on WBFF and stuff because lots of you have been asking how I went with that as well. So these are just my three rice cakes. They're thick rice cakes with like a tablespoon of Nutella. So it's like a really, really thin spread. And these are so yum. And it kind of stops me from like craving sugar and stuff. So good. Another option could be having like peanut butter, jam, Vegemite, maybe some avocado or chicken on top if you want to make it more of a filling snack. This is what I have because I did have that big lunch I showed you guys, the burrito bowl. And then I'm going to have like a white dinner. And it's going to be like a pasta dish. I have to cook that so I'll show you guys that as well. I did touch base on like comping and stuff in um on my um, Instagram. If you don't follow me, to make Jenkins, follow me. Um... But praise the up, I got top 10 in the WBFL. I came seventh overall, and I was really proud of myself. I did touch this on Instagram, but I was really thinking I could, or I thought I was gonna do better. But you know what? It's like, just give me more motivation to go back and be better. I know what I wanna work on. I haven't yet heard the judges' feedback, and I know lots of you guys asked me what it was. I don't actually know what it is, but they do mark you on things like your upper body, the X shape frame of your body, your glutes, full glutes, um, full legs, um, your personality on stage, so like your marketability, like how you're posing, um, and things like that. So, so there's some of the things that they mark you on. I haven't heard back what they thought about myself, but I personally think it'd be similar to my IFPB um, 
feedback which is build a bigger upper body to create more of that X frame and really bring in and tighten my hamstrings and my glutes. So if that is similar, um, I'm definitely like hitting that in my training. I'm really going hard on the upper body. It's just really hard because for myself, I can eat a lot of food and I don't seem to put on the size or fill out like the um, of, like other competitors. So um, I find that really challenging. So the building phase is definitely something I need to work on. I definitely need a lot of time now to build, to eat, to fill out and really bring back that bigger package, a fuller package with tighter glutes and hamstrings. So I'm really excited to really work for that and fill that out and hopefully get maybe in the top three or five, top three I'm hoping for. That's my new goal. I really want to get in the top three for IFPB and WBFF. For IFPB, I did come fourth in two of my categories, but I can't go in one of them. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oops. I can't go in one of them again because it was for beginners. So I will have to just go in two other categories. So I'm hoping to bring in a come down a place in that one as well. Um, thinking about competing possibly in March for IFPB and May for WBFF. I will keep you guys updated when I know more. But right now Sam's just telling me to chill out, focus on my building, really smash the training, really get back onto a routine because I have been going out for a little like a little bit, like eating out and stuff, because I haven't really all year. Um and Stuart's away, so it's really keeping me busy. But then next year we're really just gonna get it, I think maybe from after Christmas, like into the new year, really smash this program, bring in that bigger build, bigger upper body like the judges want. And I'll fill you guys in on what the WBFF judges said as well um, when I get that feedback back. But, um, yeah, so that's all about me. I feel like that's everything that everyone sort of asked. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the, one, um, in the comments below, and I will definitely get to those. I will also leave all links and um, codes for my blanket in the description. If anyone else has any questions, you can also message me as well. I'm going to eat this snack and then head to work. Um, and then I'll check in with you guys later when I'm making dinner. Do it. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, vlog. Good work. I'm just showing them what I'm having for dinner. So while that's cooking guys, I'm quickly going to make my dessert so it's ready um, after I have a shower. I'm having 100 grams of the Shibani yogurt with a tiny bit of XO crunch, just for a little bit of crunch in there. And then I'm also mixing it with my, oh can't see, my um, protein, again 35 grams of that as well. And that'll conclude what I'm eating today. Um, nothing really that crazy different from um, what I was eating on prep, but just like different, like measurements but I hope this gives you guys some ideas or like snack ideas and things but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video catch up um, and I'll try and film a few more for you guys especially now that my food will be changing and my training but let me know in the comments below what else you want to see bye